Hey everyone, welcome to Sonic Station, and today we are going to answer one of the most asked questions from you guys about Sonic Origins, which is what's going to be the Sonic 3 & Knuckles soundtrack? Is it going to be the one presented in the Mega Drive version? Is it going to be the one presented in Sonic & Knuckles collection? How's it going to be? Well, today we will answer that, but before we answer this question, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and all those other things that other YouTubers ask. So, before we start, I have to be honest with you guys, I had an answer about two months ago about the OST of Sonic Origins from someone that I'm not going to mention, as I really don't know if this person knows a lot about Sonic Origins, some of the things that I was told have been come true, others not as much, but it is what it is. The answer that I got from the Sonic 3 and Knuckles OST in Sonic Origins was that he was going to be old and new at the same time. And this got me a bit confusing, and I thought that this was kind of fake, to be honest. How can something be old and new at the same time? However, yesterday we got our official answer, and it is what it is, and it's, it's kind of old and new at the same time, and I'm going to explain to you all. So, it was yesterday that we had a Sonic livestream. In fact, I'm going to have here the Twitter posts. I don't have him organized, but I'm going to basically mention all the information in a more abridged way, if you know what I mean. So, we had a Sonic livestream, those seem to be kind of frequent, where Katie actually mentioned that some uh, soundtracks, some tracks in the Sonic 3 and Knuckles soundtrack had to be replaced, and uh, some might be a bit upset, however, it seems we have some good news. Stealth came out to answer this question, and he explained that the songs that had to be replaced have been replaced with the ones from Sonic and Knuckles collection, the PC collection, from 1997. And some might be here a bit worried because they were in a MIDI format and many didn't like the way that um, that soundtrack sounded and they preferred actually the way that a prototype of Sonic 3 that has surfaced a few years ago sounded. To be honest, I kinda am with you guys, I preferred the prototype version. But we have here some news that these songs that were originally presented in MIDI format and were unpolished in the Sonic 3 prototype are not the versions that are going to be. Instead, we are going to have a brand new FM makeover by Jun Sanoe to kind of finish the soundtrack and to make it all more cohesive. So we are going to basically grab these old songs and we are going to give it a fresh makeover in an FM format and integrating them into the Sonic Origins soundtrack. I know that some of you might be asking why we are not going to get the original one. For those that don't know, Michael Jackson was involved with it and there were some problems basically. So we cannot have those songs. So basically, I think that the Carnival Night Zone Ice Cap Zone and Launch Beast Zone songs are going to be replaced. They are just six songs, and to be honest, I think that these prototype versions actually sound really good, to be honest. So, as Stealth said, uh, he thinks that it is a reasonable compromise to have Sonic 3 being released on modern platforms, and I think so too. I mean, the soundtrack isn't that bad, at least what we heard. I think that the FM makeovers have been made with a ton of polish and that they are going to be really great. So yeah, now we have our answer. We aren't going to get the original Michael Jackson soundtrack version, we aren't going to get the MIDI versions of the songs, we are going to get new FM makeovers by Jun Sanoe in Carnival Night Zone, Ice Cap Zone and Launch Base Zone. So, what do you guys think? Is this going to really affect you from buying the Sonic Origins collection? Maybe this can be fixed with mods in the Sonic Origins PC version. But if it's not fixed, I must say, I think it is really reasonable to have this change and to allow us to replay once again Sonic 3 and Knuckles, especially in a remastered way. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, you all.